Not enough for my liking. I can still see your face. Before we head off to Erin's hideout, I believe Garrett's picked up enough loot to buy a wrench, which will be very helpful for the missions to come. So let's head back to the burrack. Someone will hear our voices. Someone will tell the Blacktops enough is enough. That kind of someone usually ends up swinging from the gallows. City's rotten with gloom, with famine, with the Baron's empty promises. <laughs> What's Northcrest given us, eh? An age of industry? An age of progress at the price of the people? Orion warned us that our friends would be blood. Back by so the soon. Watch. Again, we'll just take everything he's offering. It's good to have the option, I guess. Like you. He Watch your back the up there, He sees a city on the brink of death, but the Graven won't let it die, friends! Orion won't leave you to rot! We're just getting started! The I have something for all you. All right, first we'll sell off all the stuff we just don't need. And it seems more tools have been added to the merchant's stock. The razor is used for stealing paintings, which is useful, but the wire cutters would be a better purchase in this case. They deactivate any traps or mechanisms that we may come across in our travels. Definitely the next thing to save up for. Stick to the shadow. Orion understands you. Orion can bring change. Before heading off to Erin's hideout, I want to raise some more cash so we can buy the wire cutters. One of the jobs we picked up from Basso is to talk to a guy called Ector. Could be a lead for some easy cash. I presume. Is that you? The master thief? Who's your friend? That's my metal man right there. My life's work. All clockwork and machinery. He could revolutionize the city, get me the recognition I deserve. If it weren't for that damned Baron. The Baron's a damn fool. He grew impatient, ordered me to destroy the project. But I couldn't pull apart my metal man, could I? The job, Hector. What do you need? My friend here is almost whole. Problem is, I've been stabbed in the back by the very scum I hired to build him. One jealous lout even stole my metal man's mechanical hand. And you want it back. Exactly. Alfonso, the weaselly tailor of Stone Market, has stashed the hand in his shop. Recover the device, and I'll pay you for your trouble. As long as the pay is good, I'll take it. Finally, someone who recognizes the importance of my work. Check out Alfonso's attire in Stone Market. That weasel's no doubt stashed my metal hand in his tailor shop. These client jobs, as the game calls them, are different from the standard side quests. They have their own separate areas, much like the main story chapters. Which means these side quests have a bit more variety compared to the ones we pick up from Basso. Not that much variety, though. 
guess what I saw going down in Blackborough last night. Spit it out, I'm not guessing. Fine, fine. The watch was trying to arrest that graven crazy Jacob. <laughs> oh, Betty ah, a chance to test out the brand spanky new wrench. Down three guards, put two of them out on their backs and broke some bones before running off. Rock's teeth. Remind me not to piss off the graven. Threatening letter from a loan shark demanding his money back. He's waiting in Muddler's Row, wherever that is. 